क्वेश्चन नंबर 1.20 अ पॉइंट चार्ज कॉजेस ऑन इलेक्ट्रिक फ्लक्स ऑफ माइनस वन पॉइंट जीरो इंटू टेन टू दावर थ्री न्यूटन मीटर स्क्वायर पर कुलम टू पास थ्रू अ स्पिरिकल गॉसिन सर्फेस ऑफ टेन पॉइंट जीरो सेंटीमीटर रेडियस सेंटर्ड ऑन द चार्ज इफ द रेडियस ऑफ द गॉसिन सर्फेस वेर डबल्ड हाउ मच फ्लक्स वुड पास थ्रू द सर्फेस एंड वॉट इज द वैल्यू ऑफ द पॉइंट चार्ज so here a point charge is placed at the center of a spherical gaussian surface let's say q charge is placed and the electric flux through this spherical gaussian surface is phi is given minus 1.0 into 10 to the power 3 newton meter squared per coulomb And if the radius of the Gaussian surface were doubled, how much flux would pass through the surface? So, if the radius of this Gaussian surface is doubled, we know that as per Gauss's law, pi is equal to q enclosed divided by epsilon naught. Q enclosed means The total charge present inside the Gaussian surface divided by absolute permittivity of the medium. So epsilon naught value is 8.85 into 10 to the power minus 12 coulomb squared per newton meter square. So flux is dependent on the charge present inside the gaussian surface and epsilon not flux is not dependent on the radius or the distance so by changing its radius of the gaussian surface flux won't be changed so if the radius of the gaussian surface is doubled flux will remain same Flux will be minus 1.0 into 10 to the power 3 newton meter square per coulomb. And what is the value of the point charge? So the point charge is Q. So the value of this equal to pi into epsilon naught is given minus 1.0 into 10 to the power 3. And epsilon naught value is 8.85. Into 10 to the power minus 12, which is equal to 8.85 into 10 to the power minus 9 coulomb. So the flux is negative. So the charge, the point charge is also a negative charge.